Darren here, and today's episode is going to quickly cover how the new hydropneumatic suspension works, and the main differences between a similar Swedish tech tree mechanic, the Siege Mode. So let's get started. So a quick rehash of what the Siege mechanic is, this is only for the Swedish TDs, and essentially what this is, is the hydro pneumatic suspension, but in a system to where you have to initiate the hydro pneumatic suspension. And in this transition from the on-the-move suspension to the hydro pneumatic suspension, you are stationary for two seconds for the time it takes for the transition to complete. And this is for uh, being able to raise lower the the chassis to aim the gun as you can see just by this demonstration hydro pneumatic suspension is working uh, and the you saw the transition and again whatever your control scheme is for me I have to hit left on the d-pad to initiate this and that is pretty much the main difference between the Swedish medium tanks and the Swedish TDs is the fact that you have to stop and initiate the hydro pneumatic suspension aka the siege mechanic for the Swedish TDs. Now the hydro pneumatic suspension is different from the siege mechanic in that you do not need to manually activate the suspension. Instead when you slow down to 10 kilometers per hour or less the hydro pneumatic suspension will automatically activate but for the tier 8 to tier 9 when you accelerate to speeds of 19 kilometers per hour or faster you will uh, have the suspension revert to normal the different the difference for the tier 10 though is that it will revert to normal when it hits speeds of 23 kilometers per hour or faster And that concludes today's video on the hydro pneumatic suspension. I'd like to thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos like this one, don't forget to subscribe. But until next time, this has been Darren of Watsi Academy.